Hello friends, welcome to Ansys Tutor. In this video, we are going to understand what is y plus in turbulent flow and how to find this y plus value in Ansys fluent. In this session, we will explore what y plus is, why it is important and how to calculate and visualize it in Ansys fluent. So let's get started. Now first, understand what is y plus. Y plus is a dimensionless number that quantifies how well the boundary layer near the wall is resolved in a turbulence model. It helps us understanding the mesh quality in the region near the wall where turbulence effects are the most significant. Here are the key parameters used in the Y plus formula. Where rho is the fluid density in kg per meter cube, ut is the friction velocity it is calculated from wall shear stress and y is the distance from the wall to the center of the first cell in the met, met, in meters. Mu is the dynamic viscosity of the fluid and tau w is the wall shear stress in Pascal. These parameters helps define the y plus value which tells us how accurately the boundary layer is resolved. Now let's understand why y plus is important. Y plus is crucial in turbulence modeling because it is directly affects the accuracy of simulations involving wall shear stress, heat transfer and turbulence quantities. A properly chosen y plus ensures that near wall effects are correctly captured, which is vital for accurate CFD results. Now, let's see what is Y plus in various boundary layer zones. There are three regions in the boundary layer which is based on Y plus values. First one is laminar sublayer. Here, the viscous effect is dominant. That is the laminar sublayer. Then the buffer region where Y plus value is between 5 and 30. And it is a transitional zone. Transition from laminar to turbulent zone. Then the log law region where the y plus value is greater than 30. Here the turbulent effects is dominant. The y plus value helps us to identify which region the flow near the wall lies in. It guides us how to refine the mesh for the better results. Now see turbulence model and y plus requirements. Different turbulent models have specific Y plus requirements. For example, standard KFSL model with wall functions. Here the Y plus value should be greater than 30. Another turbulence model is enhanced wall treatment or EWT with standard KFSL on. Here the Y plus value should be between 1 and 5. If you are choosing SST K omega model, it will perform best when y plus is close to 1. Choosing the current turbulence model and mesh refinement is important to ensure accurate simulations. Now, let's see how to calculate the fast cell height for the desired y plus value. To achieve a desired y plus, we need to calculate the fast cell height using this formula. But del y is the fast cell height is equal to y plus into mu where rho into ut. Here y plus is the desired y plus value which you want. The, according to the y plus value, the cell height will be calculated from this formula. Now let's see how to get this y plus value in ANSYS fluent. To show this process, I have selected a 2D pipe model. It is of 20 mm in radius and 500 mm in length. Make sure you have selected a turbulent model because Y plus value you can only see in turbulent model, you cannot see in laminar flow models. If you have selected a laminar flow model, you cannot see the Y plus value. I am keeping the default materials. Now go to boundary conditions. Select the inlet boundary. Open the inlet condition. 
put the velocity magnitude at 0 0.01 meter per second. Click on apply, then close. Keep the default boundary condition for outlet. Keep the default adiabatic wall for the pipe wall boundary condition. Go to methods, select green grass cell best method. Now go to monitors and select residuals. Decrease the residuals out to 10 to the power minus 6 for a better accuracy of the results. Decrease all these residuals for the, all the equations. Now go to initialization and do the hybrid initialization. Initialization is complete. Now go to round calculation page. Enter the number of iterations. Now click on calculate. Now the iteration process has been started. Now solution is converged, calculation is complete. Now we are going to see the y plus value for this go to plots, go to results. Select plots, select xy plot, select the y axis function as turbulence and y plus as the parameter, wall y plus. Now select the pipe wall as the location where we want to see the y plus value distribution. Select the pipe wall and click on plot. Here you can see the variation of y plus along this outer pipe wall, which is maximum near the inlet and it is decreasing towards the outlet and it is becoming constant after 0.05 meter. Now we are going to see how to get this y plus in CFD process processing. Now close this fluent and open the CFD post processing documents. Here make a note that if you want to see the contours of this y plus, this can be only visible in if your model is in 3D space or it is a 3D model. In 2D model, you cannot see the Y plus contours. Now go to results. Now we are going to insert a line. Enter the location of the starting point and ending point of this line. The line I want to create is at the pipe wall. So I have selected the Y as 0 0.02 meter. And I have taken 100 samples points. This is the line created. Now insert a new chart. In the X axis, put the X and Y axis, put the Y plus value. Wall Y plus value and data series, select the line as the location and click on apply. This is the wall y plus variations along the x axis starting from 0 up to the entire length which is 0.5 meter. With this, let's conclude this demonstration. Hope you have liked this video. Please like, share and subscribe and 
comment below if you have any doubt. Thank you.